welcome, Joanne Platinos here, doing a little bar workout for you today. I've got a um, small weight, two pounds, you can use a three pound or a five pound weight. And you don't need anything except just something to balance on. I'm using the banister today, you can use the back of a chair, your kitchen countertop, and that's all you need. I've got a timer down here, we're gonna do each move for a minute. I'll do the whole series with you on this side. And then so I don't have to have my back to you, I'm just gonna have you just reset that video and then just turn around and do the whole thing on the other side. So go ahead and grab your weight. You might want to have done a few arm circles just to wake up the body, maybe a little squatting just to wake up the legs. And then when you're ready, you're gonna bring those heels together into your athletic V. We're gonna lift those heels off the floor. Doesn't matter how high they go, just click them together. Nice and squeezed, draw in the navel. Shoulders back, ribs closed, belly button on. And then when you're ready, you're just gonna come down into a plie, bring the arm up and around. Up and around. You've got one minute here. Imagine sliding your back down an imaginary wall. Squeeze those heels really strongly together. Use your breath. Come as low into those knees that feels good for you. Shoulders stay away from your ears. Up, out and around. You're over halfway. Keep going. Keep that connection of the heels. Down and around. Beautiful. Keep going. You've got four more here. Four. And three. Two. Last time. And bring that hand all the way back down in front of you. First position. We're going to take it to second and first. Just bringing those knees out in the same direction. Knees heading over the toes. And that little turn out. Nice little plie there, plie there. Arms just moving. You might go a little wider with your arm. I don't want to crash into the wall there. Take it out and in. You might hear my dog in the background. Bella, some of you know Bella. She likes to be, she might visit us at some point. In and out, heels together. Just keep those feet at two and 10. Got it, four more here. Four, and three, two. Last one here, bring it in and then bring it out. Lean forward, your navel is pulling up and in. Feet are still at two and 10, pitching my body forward. And then I'm just gonna fly that arm. Fly up, leading with the elbow, top of the arm, use your breath. We exhale with the exertion, so exhale. Keep moving that elbow up towards the ceiling. Scapula pulling into the midline. Going. Make sure that belly button is pulling up and in. Almost there. Give me ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And just put, stand up for a second. Give your shoulder a little roll. Put that weight off to the side. And quick little cardio, we've just got some squat jumps. So option not to jump, squat, releve, squat, heel lifts, push the arms back, like so. Or you can do your jumps. Remember if you're jumping, land softly, land with bent knees. Higher level, you can reach it up. Anytime your arms come above your head, it's a little bit more cardio. I've got 15 seconds. 
land nice and softly shock absorbing knees Give me four, three, two, and one. Shake it off. Take a little sip of water if you need it. Pick that weight back up again. Ah, recover. And then when you're ready, you're just gonna put your hand back on the bar, back to first position. Reach your arms up. And I'm just gonna give me a knee to an elbow. Squeeze. Then you turn out. About one and eleven. Turn out. Pull and reach. Try to get that rib hip connection there. Keep going. Shoulders out of the ears. Try to get that elbow on the outside of the knee. Point your toe. Four more here. Four, three, two, last one. And then you're gonna reach that palm forward, take the leg back. It's still slightly in an external rotation with the right knee out. Lift it up, draw in the navel. And then as you're ready, just down and up. Back is not moving. Squeeze that right seat, that right hamstring, and lift it up. Reach. Notice how I have a soft knee for support on the left leg. If you wished, you could lift up for the last 10 seconds, the left heel, the bar leg, the supporting leg. So just pop it up right there, lift it up. Those shoulders out of the ears and then stay up here option to stay with the heel lifted or you can lower it down this time bring the arm back and bend in half and stretch bend and stretch bend in the knee bend in the elbow you got it eight seven six five, four, we're holding those legs back, three, and the arms in two, stay on one, and then just little lifts, lift the seat, lift the hamstring, lift the tricep, again you might want to pop up that heel, nice soft knee, give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two and one and cross that leg over quick little figure four breathe and then when you've recovered you can grab that weight option for a little jack action take it up you can use the weight you don't have to use the weight but you can also do quick little tap outs or you can bring the arms forward. You can have a little combo. Up and out. Up and out. Again, nice and soft. Landing with the feet, knees are bent. Give me 10 seconds. Keep that navel engaged. Four. Three, two, and one, and recover. Take a little breather. Ah, heart rate should be up. Take the outside leg back, bring the weight onto your shoulder. So when you bend your legs, you just wanna come on down, aiming for a 90-90 lunge, knee over the ankle, back knee here, underneath the hip. Weight is on the shoulder and just reach it up and down. Up and down, push into your front foot, push into the back ball of your foot, aiming that knee for the floor. And again, you're exhaling up, exhale, 
Shoulders stay over the hips. Back stays long. Reach. Reach. Imagine you're punching through the ceiling. Keep that navel pulling up and in strongly. If you would like, you may lift the heel. A little releve. Or keep the heel down. Keep that nice light grip on your support. Keep reaching. Beautiful. Four more. Four. Three, two, last time, and bring it in, shake out that leg. You might want to do a quick little quadricep stretch. Stretch it out. And then just face your support. Feet to hips distance. Nice again, nice balancing grip on the other side. Let's releve our heels. Lift your heels to your highest place for you. Bend your knees, they come straight forward. Reach that arm out and just give me some bicep curls. So just bring it in, make that bicep. When you come in, lower down an inch, lower down an inch. We're here for a minute. Bring it in. You might want to go a little lower with your knees. You may want to work a little higher. Make sure you're sliding your back down your imaginary wall. Keep the belly button pulling in to support the back. Imagine there's a string on the crown of your head, keeping you beautifully upright and erect. Really make that muscle. And give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And shake it out. Maybe do a little stretch. And one last little knee repeater option here. You can put that weight down. If you like a little extra, turn on a slight diagonal, which the same arm as leg is out, and then just bring them together. You can always pick up that weight also. Do it with the weight. Bring it in. If your arms are tired, do it without, depending on what your weight choices were. Try to stay nice and low on your supporting leg. No, notice how I'm not really bouncing too much. I'm not moving that leg much. Except for the water bottle. Bring it in. Use your exhale. As you bring the elbow towards the knee, you might go a little lower. Keep going, get that cardio up. Cardio, arms and legs. Don't forget you have to do the other side. 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, keep going. Five, four, three, two, all oh, burning, and last one. And stand it up. Oh, that one got my standing leg across it. Sit down. And then don't forget, all you need to do is just stop the video, turn around. You don't need to turn around. You just need to do the whole thing on the other side. I'm not going to turn around, it's rude. <sighs> There's a lot of things going on in the world that need to be rude right now. I really honor your commitment to your fitness journey. I know we're all stuck at home. It's crazy, what can I say? If you don't have a weight, you have a soup can, big one, small one, grab something, and then I'll be doing videos every day with or without stuff. And if you don't have the stuff, I'll give you some options. You don't need a lot of space. Didn't even have any of my water. Feel free to have little sips of water and um, subscribe and like, and let's keep each other motivated and healthy and sane in this time. Love you all.